The following movie is rated I. What's up, guys? What do we have today in Cheesy's Garage? We got a battery powered security camera by Daihum. Check it out. user's manual, hardware to mount it, cable to charge it, sticky pad for the mount, the mount, and the camera. Remove protection before use. Usually it's the other way around, am I right? First thing I noticed, this definitely has a decent amount of weight to it. You see that it has a magnet mount or a permanent mount. Pretty good because if you want to recharge it and then stick it back on there, I like that. It's a good idea. The micro SD slot is inside, and you have to push both and pull it out. That's how you charge it. There's the power, there's a little speaker, there's a micro SD slot. There's nothing in there right now. I'll go get one. So I got a 32 gigabyte SD. I'll be using. Hmm. So they leave the power accessible through the bottom. and charging. I have to say the quality is very very good on this. Instructions come in English. So this has a spotlight on the top. It has a built-in infrared light just over top of the camera. Of course that's the camera lens. Are you coming to help kitty? Okay, this is an indicator light for when it's running, operating, etc. This is an ambient light. This is a piece of I don't know what. And this is the motion sensor right there. On the bottom, we have a power button and a USB-C charging and data cable. And of course, that's the speaker. So to turn it on or off, it says to hold the power button for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's the ambient light sensor and that's the indicator. They're backwards in the manual. Hmm. That's backwards. So this has a one third inch CMOS sensor for the camera. It says a lens is an M12 F2.97 millimeter F1.6 4 megapixel. Field of view is 120 degrees. Video compression is H265, which is that's very good. That's the newest technology. It records at 15 frames per second. And video resolution is 2560 by 1440 or 4 megapixels. Has a 5200 milliamp battery in it. Standby. It uses 1.93 milliwatts. In the daytime, it'll draw 1.11 watts. And at night, it draws 2.02 .02 watts. It has a 12-month standby battery time. Working time is approximately 3 months. From 1% battery, it takes 10 hours to charge fully. So I'm going to download the app on my phone right now. Vico Home Security Camera App. Let's see how easy this is to hook up. Maybe I don't even need the manual. So I have to sign up for a new account. Check my mail for a verification code. Select the password. 
put in the password for the Wi-Fi. Easy, you don't even need the manual. Wi-Fi connected. Camera name, we'll call it Dihum or Dihum. And let's say garage. Let's update the firmware. <laughs> it's catching me motion. Firmware is updating. Now you can tell by the indicator it's on the right side of the camera, not the left. 12%. 94% done. Firmware successfully updated. Let's see what this looks like. What's up, kitty? Somebody's tired. Doesn't seem to stream too bad. It is 15 frames per second. Some helper you are. I'm gonna have to walk away from here to do the... Because I'm sure it's gonna be too loud and it'll feed back. What's up, kitty? What's up, kitty? You hear me? You hear me? Gizmo! Gizmo. Oh. <laughs> it's feeding back. Hey, Gizmo. Hey, Gizmo. Gizmo, do you hear me? Gizmo. I see you looking at it. You can turn on the white light. Blind a poor cat. This is me when I was setting it up. So when you're playing live, it doesn't record. Here's your calendar up here. Shows you if there's anything on that day it has a little green dot under it I have seven videos for today motion detection is set to high AI analysis if you want to have person vehicle package or pet detection you have to purchase that activity zone notification settings I guess you have to purchase SD card video so this does you on a timeline and then you can see when I did live stream. Sleep settings. Firmware info. We did the .5.5. DD7037. SD card management. We didn't use even the sliver yet. And you can format the SD card here. Light settings. Indicator light is on. Night vision's on. Infrared for night mode. Flashlight alarm. So that I'll flash the light if it's triggered by motion. Night vision mode is infrared. Light sensitivity level is medium. Audio settings. 100%. Advanced settings. You have anti-flicker and install settings. Now what I want to see is if I go back and I hit this. How do I download? So I hit download, save to album. So let's see. <laughs> Amazon came up the driveway. Well, that's good. Some of these cameras are a pain to download. Now, one thing I did not see was battery level yet. Oh, well, all right, there's the battery indicator right there. Looks like it's about three quarters. What I'm gonna do, I'll find a spot for this in the garage, charge it up fully, then continue the video once it's fully charged. Got a notification from Dihum or Dihum. Good, it gives you a little thumbnail. Ha, <laughs> look at that. Some of these cameras don't do that for you. Where are we gonna mount this camera, Gizmo? Hmm?
So I'm going to mount it on the ceiling here. And the image is upside down. Advanced installation. Rotate image. And that's it. So we'll leave that there and see how it does. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.